advise Director Tan of your status. Lexi wanted to speak to you. Move your arm again? Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy induced pain levels are consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. I don't mind. What's all this about? Follow-up scans. I keep a close eye on him. What do you mean? He's fine, just old and missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's... a lot. Made it through the Krogan Rebellions. Watched my culture disintegrate. Survived centuries as a merc. And all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience. All it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. But you're here, still standing. You survived. Yeah, but surviving ain't always living. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up, drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. 
This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. That's awful. It's practical. Krogan gave me a purpose again. Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her, and she took care of me. You found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. What was it? Took me a while to figure it out, but it's important. Parents aren't meant to be a goal or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. Yes? I saw another memory that Dad locked away. The day my mom died. I'm sorry, Ryder. We each have our reasons for coming here. Mom was his. Her death fueled him. Grief can be a powerful motivator. If you can't run from it, use it. Guess that's what he did. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. You realize that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the Ket activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The Ket can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing Ket over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future, yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt-naked Asari for the stand, and she's holding... a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp. The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes, or... being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over after everything you've been through? I don't know. The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. 
Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. We'll get you the lamp, even if it's not the same one. We'll make you a new one. If we make new ones, we'll have to get you one too. Hey, you're two for two. What do you mean? Two times face to face with the Archon. Two times you spit in said face, figuratively speaking, of course. Come up short once, it's game over. Gotta keep your win streak going then. Bastards trying to exalt us all, huh? That's what all this is about. Could be. Typically, I like high-stakes games, but I'd rather be sitting at the kiddie table this time. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. <clears throat> Liam's idea about watching vids together. Movie night? He delayed again, out of respect for Reka. Good. From what I've seen, your vids are flat. They're only seen and heard. Angara vids use uh, tiny electrodermal signals. You feel it through your skin. I spoke to Gil. We have time to rig up a system to mimic it, if we can acquire the right components. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. The components we need should be sold on Aya. Hmm. Let's be vigilant. Just looking for attention, aren't you? Got a minute? I could use a favor. Sure, what do you need? I kept thinking about Sarissa and my not being a pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. Your choice aboard the Salarian Ark was not an easy one. Your father approached such moral quandaries differently. Dad was used to making snap life or death decisions. I now know that colored his perceptions. Alec treated death as a problem to be solved. I have now encountered it several times. His death and your own. And what have you learned about dying from us? The self is forged by experiences. Death is the only experience that ends the self before it's understood. So, is death completion? 
or an expression cut short before it reaches its full solution, giving a different answer. I can see why it fascinates you. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Suvi, that woman on the Nexus, she's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow's got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Here for some tea, Ryder. I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. You're not the only one, Suvi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. You're a pioneer in a new galaxy. Your family understood that, and they were proud of you. Your work as a scientist will help thousands of people. That's real. It was a dream for all of us. They always encouraged me. I will do all I can to make sure my work honors them. Thank you, Ryder. Hey, are you okay? I shudder to think what the Archon meant to do with you. I heard you had to die to get out of a trap? I think of myself as daring and death-defying, but you? I did what I had to, to get us out of there. You're made of strong stuff, Ryder. Just don't get yourself exalted, okay? That asshole means to ketify us all. Can't let that happen. But he's close. He's almost figured out Krogan. It's the scariest thing. Ugh. Let's talk about something else, okay? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.